Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to set up your Epson 7890 as a network printer on a Windows based computer. The first thing you're going to want to do is install the driver. You can download the driver from Epson's website, or you can get it from the CD, the driver CD that came with your Epson printer. Here I've downloaded the Epson driver because I don't actually have the Epson printer here for the tutorial, but the process will be the same. Once you get the do driver downloaded, hit the unzip, we're going to start the program. Now if you have the Epson CD, it's going to automatically start the program as well. Now I'm not going to make this my default printer and I am going to install the 7890. The 9890 is virtually the same printer, just has a wider paper roll capability. Once we have the printer selected, we hit OK. We're going to select English. Now it's going to copy the driver over. I'm going to tell it to continue. And now it's waiting for a USB printer. I'm going to select manual here. And then what I'm going to do for now is I'm just going to select LP21. And hit OK. I'm going to tell it to continue. The driver will copy over all the files that it needs for the install. Now sometimes you'll get long pauses in these programs. Don't let that bother you or scare you. A lot of times it's just doing something in the background. Just sit and wait for the window to continue. Next, we're going to hit OK, and the printer should be installed. I'm going to open my printers and faxes, and there we have our printer. The next thing you want to do is right-click on the printer, go to Properties, and I'm going to come over to the Ports tab. I'm going to tell it to add a port, standard TCP I port, new port, and this will start the IP wizard. Once you get to this point, you just want to put in the IP address that you have assigned to your printer. Hit next. Now what it's going to do is it's going to go out and try to find your printer, communicate with it to verify that it is the right printer, and then allow you to continue on. Now as I stated before, I do not have the printer actually available. So it came back, it didn't find it, but it's going to ask me to try to continue anyway. I'm going to hit next and then finish. And we'll close this. And it still actually mapped it to that IP address. So at this point, I could actually go and connect this printer up. As long as that IP address is programmed to the printer, it'll print as soon as I tell it to print. The next step you have to do is just configure your printer and your application for sublimation, and you're ready to go. Um, if you have any questions or problems, just give us a call at 1-800-826-6332, option 2, or send us an email to support at condi.com.